You and I are part of such an amazing grand scheme that we cannot fathom. And Jesus is not coming back for the kingdom. He's coming back for his bride. He's coming back for his bride. Would explain your whole life is the Song of Songs. It explains God's way of dealing with us. And instead of fighting against it and not discerning, we can flow with the moves of, movements of his spirit and quicken our destiny. Who's interested in that? Your secret life, the life that no one else can see, is the biggest deal to God. Is the biggest deal to God. It's such a big deal, it's actually a garden that he can walk in and smell beautiful fragrant aromas, partake of the fruit. It is a place of paradise, your inner secret life. Transformation is in the journey. And we're not used to that. We want all the answers, but it's not it doesn't come like that. But if we can consecrate ourselves, that is, set ourselves apart for him, meditate, and what happens by aligning ourselves and obeying God, his work is actually um, is activated in us. But it's his work. So what happens is that God brings us on a journey and His work is starting to develop and become perfected in us. We start to, the fragrance of, the, of our inner life starts to blow out of the Spirit. We start to bear fruit. Now here's the cool part. Once that happens, He invites people, no, He draws people in the Spirit to partake of what is going on inside. So today, God brought me back into that beautiful place of worship. There are things that are out there to distract you from spending time with Him. But he will bring you back and he will show you what actually is preventing you from entering into the secret place. So he drew me back and I was flooded with the spirit. And it's a place where he can communion with you, where it's like heart to heart. Um, your mind goes completely clear and he just saturates your being. Earlier today he was showing me that when we worship him, we each have in a spirit and eat over each person a place where we can worship and this is like an altar. It's intentional ministering at the altar before him and this is done in your personal time. So he showed me the importance if you want heaven to open up and manifest and have his presence flow through you um, then the altar needs to be attended it's almost like when you every time you spend time with the Lord it's like incense before him and then one, whatever goes up must come down so his glory comes down
each side of the hair. That goes deep right here, and then she has this going to cover each side of the hair. So last night, I had an encounter in the spirit. I woke up at like 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock, something like that. And I went into like a visual encounter where the father revealed to me what he wants me to do and focus on. Something that I've been wanting to like sort of dig my teeth into for so many years. What am I doing? Where am I going? What do I need to focus on? And he basically revealed to me the areas that he, he wants me to move in. The Lord woke me up and he showed me that if you want to build something in him, you have to build it in the spirit where he is first. So you have to go into that secret place where nothing can touch you or destroy your vision. It's like guarded by him in the secret place and he told me if you want to build something in the earth that is from the kingdom you have to almost get the blueprint from heaven and you have to connect from that place it's almost like if you if you're a prophetic and you are sort of like a seer if you want to like build what you see you have to remain in that spiritual sort of prophetic place to see accurately because when you fall back into the natural and you build from what you see in the natural it will never be consistent because you won't be able to tap into what the father wants you to do does that make sense So many different influences can knock me from left to right in what I want to do because visually those seem appealing but what I need to do is be anchored and see in the spirit what the father wants me to do. That will override any distraction. He also showed me the reason why I get so distracted and because I'm very prophetic, a woman that is very visual, receives things from my surroundings, whether it's people's stuff, my stuff from heaven, you know, I'm sort of very sensitive. So he told me that if I want to build anything and I, if I want to be consistent, I have to reference it from a place where I build it in him. Career is not just separate to him, it's to serve him. What's confirmed to me is receive the blueprint, what he wants you to do. And you have to re receive that in the secret place. He will reveal it to you soon enough when you're ready. So I'm going to a new traumatics party. Tammy, my friend from church, is having a new traumatics party. Basically just like looking at some new products, um, catching up with a few girls. So I'm just putting on some lipstick, but what I like to do 
before I apply is to prime them. And to prime them, I just use this Lasting Finish Primer by Rimmel. And not only does it help the lipstick to stay, but it really evens out the lip texture and or also like pumps them out and makes them look fuller. And then I put the lipstick over the top. I really like this color. This is the Lasting Finish Lipstick by Rimmel shade 38. Just a little update on my progress with having no sugar. So I think it's been about one week since I haven't had any sugar, included any sugar into my diet. It's been difficult. But I'm staying sort of really focused because I'm seeing such amazing results in not only my skin and my energy and my digestion, but just overall well-being. I feel amazing. So it's really hitting home that sugar isn't the best. And I'm trying to eliminate it as much as I can. You know, I'm going to be surrounded by chocolate. I'm going to be surrounded by biscuits. Sugar, sugar, sugar everywhere. My goal for myself is when I'm around such in a situation like this, I'm going to be focusing on drinking tea. It's automatic, baby. Sometimes all we need in our life is a little bit of inspiration. And I'm here to give that to you. I'm here to push you. I'm here to show you that no matter what, you gotta eat, sleep, and breathe success in order to be successful. Let's go. I say, how bad do you want it? Do you really want success? Will you settle to be average? Will you strive to be the best? You should never have stepping men just chase it as a whole. They too busy chasing women while I'm out here chasing gold. I'm stressed enough. Times will get hard, and I know that it's rough. And it will get bumpy when you on this road. But never look down, you keep moving up. Motivate yourself by saying, Nothing will be stopping you. Cause anything is possible, and fear is just an obstacle. Chase your passion, chase your dreams. Never let somebody get in between. Haters go and talk, they talk, but you can't let them intervene. You gotta show them up, show them you came to win. God will lead you in the right path. Just trust in him. It's all about the inspiration. I'm trying to make sure that I keep my fans dedicated. I'm trying to make sure that I keep my fans motivated. Cause at the end, all you need is a little inspiration. You need some inspiration. I said I know a lot of people. Every single human being has a multiple amount of personalities and oscillates in between lower consciousness and higher consciousness. Okay? There's times where you're just like, you're just like really in the zone, like higher consciousness, like seeing everything clearly about life, doing everything for the right reasons. And then there's times where you're more lower consciousness. You know, you might be having a pain body attack, you might be negative, you're just kind of in your head thinking about all these little petty things, and you're just not in that same level as you were before. Okay? And throughout life, you just oscillate in between throughout your days as well. Now, ultimately, you want to go in a direction where you, you know, maximize the time that you're spending in higher consciousness and minimize the time that you're in lower consciousness, but you're going to go through it all. So to get good at anything or to achieve anything, you need to understand that and you need to align your goals depending on where you're going to find yourself. Okay, depending on if you're gonna be in higher consciousness or lower consciousness, your goals need to be set beforehand and they need to be going in the same direction.